Hello Divine Masculine, hello Divine Feminine. So this is going to be a reading. This is the union spread, okay? So if you haven't watched my um, other two videos I put out for the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, you might want to go ahead and watch those. And then you can watch the union spread. So what's going on with twin flames that are coming into union? What's the message for the divine partnerships, the soul connection? What's going on with the union here? Okay, so we have um, the main energies for the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. So, Divine Masculine, um, we have the Nine of Swords. This came up last week as well. So, this is about, um, you know, thinking about your Divine Feminine. I feel that a Divine Masculine is contemplating on their Divine Feminine. Not being able to sleep, staying up. Um, wondering where Divine Feminine is and the Divine Feminine has the Ace of Wands taking action feeling like a bolt of lightning having all this energy and starting something new okay so what does the Divine Masculine desire he desires the Two of Wands he wants two wands two aces okay he wants um, divine partnership. Um, so the divine feminine is wanting some soul connection as well from her divine masculine. Okay. I feel that the divine ma the the divine feminine is wanting. Um, she desires for her divine masculine to contact her and for some he will okay um so what is helping the divine masculine get into union with divine feminine so he had the two of wands which is possible partnership but it's also um a level up okay for divine masculine he has moved a level up to the three of wands okay he has actually I feel that he has actually told divine feminine how he feels okay with the knight of cups and now he's waiting for the return from divine feminine and and Divine Feminine here um, holds this this new beginning in her hand, and she's looking over. She's like she's holding this this new beginning, and she's thinking about what she can do on this journey, what she can push put into this journey what she can bring to this journey what she can uh, make happen okay make something happen that's what it's all about she has the ace of wands she wants to start something she wants something new she she has this energy and i feel that these two are like almost marrying each other it's like you know the Divine Masculine is giving this energy, all his energy to the Divine Feminine and she's taking it and she's looking at it, you know. Um, and that's actually what's helping the two come into union. So the Divine Masculine wants Divine Feminine to know that um, your thoughts in your mind are... Um, Divine Masculine is her knowledge, okay, Divine Feminine, your knowledge in this journey is 
helping the divine feminine, the divine masculine, um, through the fog, through the unsureness, through the illusions. Um, your knowledge is clear, okay? Um, he feels that it's clear, like the crystals here. And it helps him to move forward, okay? To get where he's going in truth. And that is to divine partnership, okay? So this is what the divine feminine wants the divine masculine to know is that you know any harsh words that was said divine to you divine masculine she wants to sum that up she wants to um the divine feminine is wanting to mend any kind of unclarity unsureness she has put out to you and to, that she has put out there okay she wants to clear the air with you um, that's what she wants you to know. So he views the relationship as he wants to set some good standards, some good goals. He wants to set some um, some good impressions of himself. He wants to mark his spot on this journey with you, Divine Feminine. Okay? With the Eight of Pentacles here, this is about moving forward this is about setting goals this is about um this is how he sees the relationship as a hard working you know you have to put in work to make things happen and he knows that and he sees that so this is how you see the relationship divine feminine as the a the a um the knight of wands so you're walking out into this this lightning bolt you know we have all these lightning bolts right here it's like bang of energy okay I mean wow so you have all this energy divine feminine and you're like you know you're going straight into the storm you know you don't care what happens because you have so much energy and so much want and willpower and you know um, you feel like a lightning bolt divine feminine the divine masculine has really boosted your energy up I feel that um, So, you know, this is how you see the relationship. As just walking out in, in a storm, you know, not knowing what's going to happen. But taking that risk. And Divine Masculine is really putting in some work, okay, towards this union. So, this is what Divine Masculine is doing to get into union, okay? Um, wait. No, actually, this is the outcome here. I'm sorry. So, this is the outcome. This is the world card. This is success and victory, like a completion. Over a 20-year period, this is a completion and divinely protected the angels. These um, represent the angels that are watching over this divine partnership. I feel that these two are coming together in union for some. So let's get um, some energies here. What's the message for the Twin Flame Union, Divine Partnership Spread? It's one, two, three. So we have chaos and conflict, clean up and not for you.
Okay. Okay, so this is an adventurous moment to restore order and recognize the opportunity for negotiation. Recognize the opportunity for negotiation. Even in the seeming chaos, there is a kind of divine order, a complete resorting of element. The best solution for the highest good of all, there is positive news, the timing is perfect. Things are already stirred up, so don't be afraid to jump into the mix. You'll discover everything you need to know about how this situation affects you long term. Be present, present in the eye of the chaos. This moment is valuable. Don't waste it. And I feel like Divine Feminine is being in the eye of the storm. And, you know, the eye could be the Divine Masculine. And, you know, there's some things that are needed to be cleaned up. Um, spring cleaning, you know, cleaning up things from the chaos and the conflict. And, um, you know, uh, what this is saying is, you know, the chaos, the conflict, it, it, it does come about in your life. And, you know, people do need chaos and conflict sometimes. But then, you know, this is saying that is it's not for you. You don't need to be confused. You don't need the conflict. Um, clean up the things that are needed in your life. Clean up and let go of the things that are not. Get rid of the old um, habits and ways. Because it's not for you. Okay? So... Especially if you're coming into union, you know, this is taking old things out, um, being ready for your divine love to come in, getting ready for that. You know, you don't need the chaos and the conflict. So what is the message um, for the union spread? You know, it's saying to to get rid of the the chaos and the conflict. Clean it up. It's not for you. I feel that let's see something. There's a message that is the the we have the writer. The writer he brings messages. He delivers messages so something is going to be brought to you um, brought to you um, it's about a contract it's about a commitment it's about could be about your divine love No, I, I feel that you're div I feel that you know for some it's going to be a divine love that stands alone uh, the message that's going to come through is that you know your divine partner is alone at the moment he doesn't have a karmic partner so this would be an opportunity you know um, I feel that some are getting rid of their karmic partners. They're cleaning up things. They're letting go of the chaos and the conflict. And this is going to be brought through to your other half. And they're going to find this out. This is a union spread, okay? So let's get one main energy here. Obsession, delusion, self-interest. 
Nature never deceives. It is who we... It is... We who deserves ourselves. We should look in the mirror and see our true reflections as others would see us and strip away the psychological makeup of ego and vanity. So again, this is cleaning up, you know, the chaos, the conflict, seeing things for what they really are. This is seeing that, you know, this could be like seeing that you, know, you do have a divine partnership. This is like you're not in a divine partnership you're in a karmic relationship and you're seeing things for what they really are and you're really starting to clean this up and it, this week i feel that some are going to be getting out of this karmic relationship okay and they're going to stand alone like the tower tall and straight and you know, this is going to be brought through to the twins. The energy is going to be out in the, the universe. And other twins are going to feel this. Your divine partnership is going to feel this. There's really going to be some soul connections. Okay, thank you. Have a nice week.